Okay, so yes, welcome back to the Nuzlocke Marathon. The, um, all we have left is the league. We got our new team member, Beefcake, trained up. Um, let me just go through the team right now. And everybody's on level 58. We'll go through the team and then we will get ready to go in and fight them. So we have Thornless the Torco, Holton a Heat Rock with the ability drought for that sun with Flamethrower, Body Slam, Protect and Toxic. Next up we have Trove the Palo Sands with Water Compaction holding a Quick Claw with the moves Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, Shore Up and Earth Power. We've got Tyler the Two Cannon with the Skill Link ability holding a Muscle Band with Beak Blast, Bullet Seed, Rock Blast and Brick Break. We have Magneto Jr. the Agron with Sturdy and the Expert Belt with the moves Rock Slide, Iron Head, Bulldoze and Brick Break. And then we have Whiplash, the Alone Executor, with the Frisk ability holding a Choice Specs with Draco Meteor, Giga Drain, Flamethrower, and Psy Shock. And then last but not least, our newest team member, Beefcake, the Snorlax, with a Thick Fat ability holding a Ground. Well, he's holding a Ground DMZ, but I'm going to change that depending on what fight we're going into. Ground DMZ because uh, the first fight we're going to do is against the Steel guy. Uh, Ground Dooms you'll probably stay on for Steel and Rock, and then I'll probably switch to um, the uh, other Z crystals for the other two uh, team members, the other two uh, Elite Four members. But he's holding Ground Dooms for now with the moves Return, Crunch, Rock Slide, and High Horse Power. That is the squad. That is the squad. Now, before we go into the Victory Road, we have two wheel spins to do. We had a uh, thousand bits given by Seaman the other day and we were saving them for the Elite Four. So we're going to do them right now and hope that it's not anything too devastating so that we have a chance to actually win this. So let's uh, do the wheel spins and see what we get. Okay, we got you cannot evolve. We got the you cannot evolve Pokemon until after the next boss fight. That does nothing. Uh... And we got eight. Can't use any status moves for the next thirty minutes. I think we'll respin one of them. Because not being able to evolve any Pokemon after a boss fight is kind of pointless. It doesn't do anything for us right now. There's basically no effect with that for where we are. Two. Can't use any healing items for the next three battles. Fuck me. Okay. 30 minutes without status moves. Three battles, three of the Elite Four battles are going to have to go without any healing items. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be tough. Alright, well, let's do this. I guess i got to think, what are, the, what, what, what are the Elite Four members do I think are going to be easier? Where I might not, where I maybe don't have to heal. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get through this without healing. That's going to be a problem. Maybe I'm better off giving berries to my team members. Just so they have a way of getting healed. With that, rather than... Um, you know what I mean? Just maybe give everybody a citrus berry. Just so they've got a chance to not die.
Okay, um... So I have a few of these. I have four different ones of these berries that heal 50% of your health when you're below 25%. Which could be really, really useful. Okay, hold on. I... I need to check. I need to check what uh, these berries affect in terms of nature. So Agua Berry will confuse Pokemon with a naughty, rash, naive, or lax. Do any of my Pokemon have any of those natures? Because it'll be easy if I just can give them all the same the same berry. Uh it's naughty naive. Naughty Naughty, rash, naive, or lax. Okay. Snorlax has Rash, so I can give him something else, but everybody else. Oh, I still want to have I still want to kind of have, keep the Z move on him. Hmm. Okay, I'll give an I'll give an Agua Berry to everybody, and then an Iapa Berry to Snorlax. That's literally the only way I'm going to be able to get through these, I think, because there's no way I can get through these fights without healing at all. I'm hoping that my mods can hit hard enough without the boosts to still hopefully one-shot a lot of stuff. Choice bags is a big problem, but you know what, this at least makes it so... This, that at least makes it so I can use different moves. Also, two of my mods have Giga Drain, so that is at least going to make it a bit easier to deal with not being able to heal. So that's good at least. All right, well, let's do this and see what happens. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to think what three of them would be easier to do. I might not need to heal for. And then I can leave the hardest one for the last, and that way I can actually heal uh, during that fight. What do I think? Steel, I feel like I shouldn't have too many trouble with, because we got Furnace, we got Fire, we got Ground on Trove, we got Fighting on Tyler, we got Fire on you. Pretty much everybody in the team has got a super effective move against Steel types, you know? In fact, Ghost might be really easy to do as well, because we have... I mean, we've got two ones that are immune to Ghost. So... Hmm. Makes me wish I didn't get rid of Roost on Tyler as well. We've got Shore up on Trovely so he can heal through that, which is nice. Hmm. 
Let's just start with steel. I mean, I really, I think either way we're going to be, no matter what, we who we fight, it's going to be hard. Flying is maybe the one we should leave, because that's the one we don't have a ton of super effective stuff for. We've got like, what, rock moves on Magneto and Beefcake and that's it. Whiplash is weak to flying. Tyler, I mean, I guess Tyler's got rock glass as well, actually. So it's really just Tyler. Well, it's really just Furnace Troll. Well, yeah, half the team. Don't have stuff, whereas you know, Beefcake and Tyler are both immune to ghosts, and we got a you know, we've got our own ghost Pokemon. I don't know. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, hi, Derek. Welcome. Why did you like why did you put test? Is Twitch chat being got you today or something? Oh, it is. Ooh. Well, wait. I'll come anyway. So I did the wheel spins already. We have to... We are not allowed to use healing items for the first three fights. And I can't use any status moves for 30 minutes. So... I've tried to send my Twitch resub twice and it's gotcha as fuck. Oh. That is very strange. See, yes... I don't know if maybe it just Twitch is having issues altogether. Because yesterday... Echo resubbed with like a normal sub, but for some reason Twitch was saying that it was with Twitch Prime when it wasn't. And it like used his Twitch Prime as well as charged him for the sub normally. So it was like, yeah, I think sub stuff on Twitch is being maybe glitchy right now or something. Alright, well, either way, let's do this. Elite 4 Moline. Oh, Clef Key start off with. Okay. Um, well, I can't really damage me too much. I'm hoping we can one-shot this with Flamethrower in, in the sun. It is pretty bulky, though. This could be pretty annoying. Flick, that's... You know what, that's fine. We have plenty of special attacks that hurt steel. So that's honestly okay. Oh, are you kidding me? I mean, he didn't even give me the burn. Alright, you know what? He's going to heal, so I'll body slam and hope that I paralyze him. And I'll just do chip damage to make sure the next Slimfor kills him anyway, so that he doesn't use more full restores. I suppose I could have maybe just went for the flamethrower again. Maybe I could have got a higher roll and killed him, but... Flash can Okay, that'll do, like, nothing. Actually, did a little bit more than I thought, to be honest. Oh, crit! Of course! Of course! Oh, why would it not get a crit on the first attack of the game? A trio. Okay, you're clearly gonna just earthquake me. Um. Tyler, brick break it? Maybe? Tyler to avoid the earthquake and break, break it. Holy hell! There it is. Derek resubscribed for 27 months. I'm not gonna try and be sappy. I know you give a lot. Of sh I know I give you a lot of shit, but I really do consider you a friend. Sorry for all the bullshit you've had to deal with this week. This substreet will continue while you're gone, and it will still be here when, not if you return. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. That does mean a lot. I'm. Hoping that it is a win by returning not enough. Um, I'm going to try everything I can. I'm going to harass the fuck out of that my internet provider in the hopes that I to get them to come out and add more lines so that I can get fiber optic. I I might I honestly might post. There's a, there's a there's a I think a Facebook page for my town. I can maybe post in there and just say anybody living in this postcode call up BT or your internet provider and ask, say that you're interested in fucking fibre optic and maybe they'll come out and add more lines and so that more people can get it. 
I don't know. <laughs> Something. But thanks, man. I, re I really appreciate that. You guys are you guys are too kind to me. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do against this the trio. I can either switch in Whiplash, who will resist. Or I think I'm thinking maybe Tyler. We can immediately have, we need to avoid as much damage as we can since we can't use any healing items. And then we can just brick break it and just hope that it kills. Dark Trio's pretty frail. So I think a brick break probably would kill it. And I'll just hope that the Dark Trio doesn't have anything it can really hurt me with. Earthquake, okay. Healing items and battles, yes, and then we can't uh, use any status moves as well for a while. So it's going to be tough, but. Oh, Duck Trio's his ace! Oh, uh, please tell me we can tank this corkscrew crash or whatever the fuck it's called. It's only Duck Trio. It's not got a super high attack and we've got pretty good defense. Decent defense. Not super effective, so maybe. <gasps> one HP! Fucking one! Holy shit! Oh! Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. Okay, um... Oh. Okay, Trove seems like the obvious choice to avoid the electric damage. But he probably has flash cannon, and that'll do a lot to us, because our special defense isn't that good. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking Beefcake. Beefcake can come in and can just tank special hits all day from this thing, and we can probably just kill it with a high horsepower. Although it may have sturdy. If I know, wait, yeah, it's, yeah, Magnezone does get sturdy. What the hell am I talking about? Um, that would be annoying. Well, that was probably my best bet. We can keep Trofer as other steel types that can uh, hopefully not do too much to us. I can't believe we survived that on fucking 1 HP. God damn. Go paralyze. Okay. Let's go for the high horsepower. That Thunderbolt's still doing a pretty good chunk. Are they? Oh, that didn't even kill it. Are you kidding me? Okay, he's probably gonna use a potion, so. Crunch. Just to put him in range. Because we can survive another Thunderbolt, right? How many? How much was Thunderbolt doing? That did. Two Thunderbolts dead. 170? So yeah, we, we would survive another one. Go for the crunch. If he doesn't heal, it kills him. It will kill him for there. Um, if he does heal, then he's in range for high horsepower to kill him next turn. Yeah, I figured. No one jinx me with a crit. Bullshit. Okay, we're good. And then that gives us gives us our Agua Berry as well, so we can heal. Or no, our Aya Papa Papa Berry. Okay. We're doing alright here. We're doing okay. Ooh. Metagross. You probably have Hammer Arm. Um. She. Trove is probably our best switch in. Yeah, because we'll avoid completely avoid damage from the hammer arm. I'm assuming that's what he's going to go for at least. I hope. And then just hit him with a couple of shadow balls. Yeah. And a couple of shadow balls should do him in. Definitely won't one shot him. Ow. 
This is working out pretty well because he most most of his attacks are putting me within range to get healed from my berries, which is nice. Excuse me. Okay. I wish I went for uh, Earth Power though. I may have one shot this thing. Okay, I don't want to take a dark attack from you, so Magneto! You are our best bet. You can tie cats from this thing all day unless it's got Brag Break, which please tell me it doesn't. Please, for the love of God, don't. Oh god, if he had Pursuit. Uh, thank god I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I just got Brag Break. Metal sound? Okay. Oosh. One left. One left. And all we, we just have to switch intro over and just hit him with the Shadow Ball and he's dead. Even if he doesn't go for a Hammer Arm here and it goes for a Steel move, it'll probably put us in range to heal our berry and then we just Shadow Ball him. Yeah, I could probably even switch in uh, Furnace and just flamethrower him. Yours. You are dead. Oh, also that did not put me in range for my better kill. Wow, just barely. Oh! <laughs> Managed to get through the first fight without any healing items. We did have our berries, but, you know... That only takes you so far. Alright, so who do we want to go to next? Just go to Olivia next, I think. Still got plenty of mons that are super effective on rock. Plenty of uh, ground moves and grass moves going on. Alright, so I want to... What feels like shit? We're using the berries? No. Absolutely not. These aren't these aren't I'm not using healing items in battle, I'm giving my Pokemon hold items that just happen to heal them. I think berries are fine. You know what? It's my fucking rules, so I'll decide. Alright. <laughs> Bitch. I'll decide if it's cheating. It's my rules. And I say it's no. Uh, Alright, who the fuck do we want to start with in Olivia's battle? Oh, it's Dagron. Dagron can take hits from pretty much anything and just Iron Head. How is that twisted logic? I'm not actually using items during battle. They're just you. They're they, my Pokemon are using their hold items that I gave to them outside of battle. Let's do this. If I'm not going into my bag and using a healing item that way, it's not using a healing item. <laughs> Jesus, Carbon. Relax. Go take a cold shower. Alright, Armaldo, yeah, you. I don't think you can do anything to me. Uh, let's just fucking Iron Head. That does nothing. Oosh. Dead. How? <gasps> okay, you know what? Bulldoze. She's going to heal Bulldoze to lower its speed and then hopefully we outspeed it with Iron and kill it next turn. That's fine. 
If I had the expert belt on, that would have fucking killed. Yes. Get out of here. Oh, why would you do such a thing? Three hundred bits, huh? Oh, you just We've already got two wheel spins going and you wanna give me another one? You guys really don't want me to finish this, do you? Alright, well that puts us to five hundred, so I'll put that back to zero. I'll spin the fucking wheel, I guess. I just, I want to finish this, and the more wheel spins I have, the more likely we're going to get wiped out and I'm going to have to train up six new Pokemon to fight them again. And I really don't want to do that. I just want this to be done, especially before I can't stream anymore. And I would rather have tomorrow's stream just be whatever the hell I want. So I just want it to be done. If you fucks stop it from happening, I swear to god. Oops. Oh, sorry, I forgot to take the 10 off. That's my bad. I'll respin it, because obviously. Seven. Cannot run away from wild, po wild Pokemon for the next 30 minutes. Free pack, fuck off. <laughs> Get out of liberties you're trying to take. Okay, thank god for that. That does nothing for us. Makes it. We're, we're already. We already. Ca Just so you know, Echo, we're currently not able to use healing items during battles or any status moves. That's the two wheel spins we got. So it's already. We're already got enough difficulty, I think, without adding more shit. <laughs> That's fair, man. Thank you for the bets. I appreciate it. Alright, uh, Probopaz, you probably have Earth Power, which is why she switched you in. So, I'm gonna go to who? If kick? No. Who do I want to switch to here? Um. I guess Troll, because he can't help me. That Ah, uh, well, maybe not, actually. I guess Beefcake. Beefcake will take... This thing's probably going to have nothing but special attacks. Yeah, and a couple of high horsepowers should destroy it anyway. Nothing! Kick to the face. Oosh. Oh my. I'm so tired of none of my moves at killing. I, like, I, it seems like every single super effective move I use just puts them in range for her to heal. It doesn't do enough to kill. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Use your fucking full restore. Oh, it does have sturdy ass, right? I guess I should have just crunched it in the first place and then. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's annoying. You know what? I mean, Snorlax is slow anyway, so that's fine, but... Mm. Oh, come on! Come on, just die! Oh, thank you for three bits, Derek. Wait, why did you... OCD alerts going off? Why do, wait, what, what's with the... What do you mean OCD alerts? For what? Oh, because you wanted to end at zero, so you're adding three just to be an asshole. <laughs> Alright, well.
Um, go for the crunch. May not heal it again. No, I didn't think so. Sandstorm. Oh, that's annoying. Ah, uh, now my Giga Drains and Earth Powers aren't going to be as effective. I've really... We just had to gear the free setup for that. And, and she gets a crit. And she gets a crit. Mm. Okay, this is definitely her ace. <laughs> okay, thank you for the 52 bits. Echo. You're gonna just put it on even 55 then instead. Okay, thank you for another three bits. 58. God damn it, guys. Uh, fuck, what am I gonna do against this thing? Trove. Yeah, it has to be Trove. Oh, shit. Okay, we resist this. We should take this really well. We resist it and we have high defense. There's no way this is killing us. Absolutely no chance. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That was a crit. Stop getting crits, you cow. I swear to God. Are you kidding me with this? Unfucking believable. I think it may have crunch. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, uh, does it really? Okay, well, let's think. A crit Z move did less than half, so would we die from a crunch? If she has it? Let me, th let me, let me, let me do the math on this. What is, what is Z? It's, I'm assuming Stone Edge is the rock move she has. What is... Uh, this is the midnight for me, uh... I'm trying to figure out what the power of Stone Stone Edge would be if it was Z moved. Oh, here we go. Base power 100, so it would be 180 with stab. So 270. Half of that is 135 because we resist it. And then, but she got a crit. So I had 50% of that. And it would be. What? What's 50% of 135? Fucking 65? Well, 65 is 30. It would be 60, like 67.5. So it would be like. Over 100. It would be about. It would be over 200 damage, technically. Crunch would only do 80. Thought it was super effective because it's not stabbed, so that's only 160. So yeah, we should survive it. If that's how much a crit fucking Z move from Stone Edge did, we should survive. We should absolutely survive a crunch. Absolutely. The question is, is she, hopefully, I'm hoping it will put us in range for the Agua Verity heal. As well, and then we can take another one because Earth Power's not going to kill it because of the Sandstorm. But Earth Power is going to definitely do the most damage, so we'll just go for the Earth Power. Hope that the Crunch doesn't kill. Hope the Agua Berry activates, heals us back up to half, and that we can tank another one and kill it with the Earth Power. That's the plan. It's a whole a total different story if it actually works out that way. Does have Crunch? Does have Crunch? Yes. 
That's not good. You can she had to get the defense drop. Oh, she just had to get the defense drop. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Do we do we survive one? How much did that do? We had like 97. It put us down to 20 something, so it did like 70 damage. Defense drop would make it so it does like a third more. I think we would still we would still survive one, right? Even after the defense drop, would we? It's a roll. Uh... Shit. Because I roll, I'm dead. Uh... Without knowing my particular status, it's a roll. Um, are you are you assuming that her she's max IV, max EV? Her stat 164 defense is what we've got with 111 HP right now. Max IV. It's probably max EV. I would imagine. Because everything has got max EVs in this, especially fucking the Elite Four, I would imagine. It's probably max EV. I'm just trying to do the math. The, the, the crunch did about 70 damage, because we were on 90 something, and it puts us down to like 20 something, so it was about 70 damage. And at minus one, you take what, 30%? A, thir or a third more? It's like 33% more damage. One point five. Is it fifty percent? No, it's a third, isn't it? Isn't it a third and then it goes to double, or is it fifty and then double? If it's fifty percent higher, if it's fifty percent less. It's not, no, it's not 50% here, because that would be half. That would be halving, that would be double. Should we maybe play it safe? Who can I switch into, though? I guess Magneto? Based on the damage it did with the other two moves. Maybe I'm better off just switching in Magneto. Because she can't really touch Magneto. Crunch will do nothing. Stone Edge. I'm assuming she would go for will do nothing. Iron Head should kill her from there. And then what she got left? She got two other Pokemon left. I mean I guess the question is, does this thing have a ground move? I don't think it even gets any ground moves, does it? I think maybe play it safe and go to Magneto, I think. If it's a high roll, you could be dead. Minus one defense reduces your defense to 0.67 times your defense. This equates to 50% more damage, roughly equivalent to plus one attack. Okay. If it's going to do 50% more damage, then it probably will kill me then. Because if it did 70, half of that's 35. Oh, in fact, no. Yeah, it would be a roll, because that would do about that would do about 105 this time. But if, it could be that she just got a low roll last time. Fuck. Do we pull it? Do we risk it? Because I feel like I need to keep Magneto for maybe her last two mons. I need to keep him, like, alive, I feel like. Potentially. Yeah, this one's the work. Yeah, the, I think the damage always... The damage goes up. It rounds up, I think, if you're on a decimal point. Like, if, if you... If after stab... A move would be like 120.5 power. It would just it would go up to 121. You lose a third of your defense. That's the key. So yeah, you die if it hits you on a high roll. God damn it. I mean, we have whiplash left. 
to deal with her last two Pokemon. The issue here is Furnace and Tyler cannot do shit against rock types. I mean, at least this way, Troll will stay at 50% health, uh, more than 50% health. Beefcake's basically useless at this point, although he still has his healing item, so maybe not. But he is paralyzed. Let's just go to Magneto. Play safe, go to Magneto. Zalikin Rock shouldn't be able to hurt us with like anything, and we just iron head it. And that'll kill. Yeah, that does nothing. And the Sandstorm's gone now, which is nice. What? I outsped? Hello? How? How did I outspeed it? Unless it was going for some kind of minus priority. It has counter. Thank fuck I didn't go into Agron immediately and Iron Head it. That would have been a problem. Giggle it. And the sand is back. Okay, you're probably going to have a ground move of some kind. Uh, I think we go back to Trove and just Giga Drain it to get heals. Because it can't really do much to Trove, I don't think. Yeah. 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 We can, we can heal from Giga Drains. It's not Jigalith, it's Gigalith. That's fine. That did like nothing. And we resist any rock moves it has, so I think we just spam Giga Drain. Oh, and we can use status moves again. Yay! Sorry about that, I forgot to think of that off for the beep. You know what? Take the opportunity, we can use status moves. Fucking show up. Oh, that's true! Agron is half rock, so he benefits from the special defense buff. That's at least a good thing, although I don't think I don't know if she has any ones left with special attacks. Oh, and the short up heals does the short up heal tons more than sand as well? Is that I think that healed more than 50%. Hell yeah. Heal me. Yeah, two thirds of the sand. Sweet. Oh, how did that no kill? Are you kidding me? Is that gonna fucking. Is she gonna heal this thing? I swear to god. Just in case, this will do more damage if she does. Okay, she didn't. Thank god. Game. Let's not do this right now. Let's not do this. Yeah, I know. It's still our best bet is to just spam the Giga Drain to just keep the health because he can't really damage us. So it was just our best play. I don't, I don't want to throw any else in, but I don't want to throw in anybody else that could take a lot of damage from his attacks. Earth Power would do more because it's stab, but Giga Drain, I was just to keep our health up as much as possible since we still can't use healing items in battle. Because we don't know what else she has, I don't know what else she has left, so it might be smart to try and keep her HP as high as possible, you know? Ooh, Cradelli! Um, that's a problem? Your grass. Uh... Tyler? This thing doesn't have super high attack stats, so... We could go Tyler and Beak Blast it, although it might not, it's probably, it's, it won't have any up. It just probably doesn't have any contact moves. It'll probably have like Seed Bomb, Rock Tomb, or maybe Ancient Power, Energy Ball. Um. Whiplash? Whiplash has got decent special defense, a lot of HP. Isn't weak to any of the moves it would have, I don't think. And this is the only Pokemon we have at full health right now, so... I don't know if I want to drop a Draco, because I won't kill it in one shot, I don't think, because it's quite this thing's quite bulky, and we don't have the choice specs on anymore. 
Stealth Rock? <laughs> Good late game last Pokemon fucking trick that is. Hello? We might drop a Draco, but I'm going to see how much Giga Drain does first. And then we can see it. Oh, we will drop a Draco, I just want to make sure I don't... There's no point in dropping a Draco and lowering my special attack if it's not going to kill it. Okay, it has Rock Tomb, not Ancient Power. Also, that did like nothing. Okay, well, one more Giga Drain and then we'll drop a Draco. Just want to make sure it kills. I want to lower my special attack and then we're in shit storm because we can't do any damage to it. Alright, drop the Draco! Bubble, bubble, boom! Shout out to Joey, dropping that in Draco's. Alright, two down with no healing items. We're doing fucking really well here. <laughs> One more and then we can finally use more healing items again during battle. Which I think we desperately need for at least the champ the champion fight. Alright, I think we'll fight Ace Arola next. She is probably going to be a lot easier than the flying bitch simply because we have two normal types to just be immune to her ghost bullshit so in fact i think honestly snorlax and tyler could probably take her on all by themselves just from being able to be immune to most of her attacks plus i think pretty much all of her mons for the most part use special attacks so Beefcake will just be an absolute beast. Alright, we'll start with Tyler. Keep Beefcake in the back. Not want to throw her, her, her ace card right away. Start with Tyler and see what she starts with. Have any fairy moves for Sableye? Nope. If she has one. She doesn't have a Sableye? She, she probably, maybe she, she probably has a Sableye in Sun and Moon, but not in this one. Your son is doing amazingly, Carbon. He's, he's, been, he's been very helpful. I'm trying to think what she does have. I know she has Elmise and Palosand, I think, as her ace. The good thing about this is we can completely avoid her using her Z-move as well just by having a normal type out, which is fantastic. Oh, I forgot. I should put my berries back on that got used, which was only one. Only used the one berry. Not that Palosand's good. Not that our boy Trove is really going to get used, but... I still kind of believe that we fucking survived on 1 HP from that corkscrew crash from Dug Trail, by the way. Fucking Tyler living on 1 HP from that. That's insane. Alright, Cerola. Let's do this. Bennett? Uh, okay. Big Blast. On it. Probably gonna have physical moves, so... I'll do, like, nothing. Ah, uh, was actually an okay chunk. Kill him. Oh, again, we're just, just, just short of a killing. Typical. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep beat blasting. If I can actually make her use all of her full stores in the one Pokemon, that's fine by me. Screech. You know what? That's fine. We don't take any more damage, and we can just switch out after this. Also, does any of our other ones even have physical attacks? Because. <laughs> That might not even affect. That might not even affect me. Or having Screech. Boss 
Definitely not staying in against you. Just cake. Absolutely. Oh, Delmai would probably have physical moves. Yeah, you're right enough. It does nothing! Crunch. Oh, Get out. Fucking confused, Ray. What are these dusty tactics? Yeah, we are thick fat. <laughs> it's not, it does just nothing to us. Crunch him. Crunch him again! A nice shard. Oof, I did like, <laughs> I did like five damage. Oh, beefcake, please. Could really help if you did not hit yourself. Thank god that missed. Thank you. Not being able to heal the uh, infusion is going to be pretty annoying. Oh, there's the Delmise. Okay, here's the thing. This thing may actually have physical moves and has got some good physical defense, so Beefcake may not be our best bet. Um, bonus maybe. How does confusion damage work? Um, basically, whenever you hit yourself in confusion, it does the equivalent of a tackle attack to yourself using your own attack stat. Well, not not a tackle attack. I wouldn't get stabbed or anything, but basically, it's like a four, basically a forty damage move to yourself with your Pokemon's or attack stat. So if you have lower defense or higher physical attack, you'll do more damage to yourself with it. But it's always usually like not much. Um. Hmm. Maybe Whiplash. Because if it's got grass moves, we desist. Although if it's got physical. See, I don't want to switch in Magneto or Troll because it probably does have grass moves. I think maybe Furnace. A flamethrower in the sun probably will kill it. I don't think it's got good special defense. That's just an anchor bad Pokemon design. I mean, to be fair, a lot of ghost types are just inanimate objects that are just possessed by ghosts. Mullen and Slam! Oh, we've avoided that. Sweet! Also, is Slam really the best move she has? To help me with? Oh, that's doing nothing. Yeah, this is... Of course. Every single attack I do doesn't do enough to kill. <laughs> she has... Yeah, she has triple stab. She can hit stab with Ghost and Grass and Steel. All of which have good physical moves that she could have on this Pokemon, but she uses with Salam. Yeah, it's um, its ability makes it so it basically gets a 50% boost to steel type moves. So it's, it's grass, ghost, but it's ability, yeah, basically makes it so steel will get stab damage as well. It's ability steel worker. Ooh, there's a palo sand. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just switch in beefcake. Again, I don't think this thing can really hurt me. Go for the Z move. Oh, I was hopeful. I did a decent chunk. Crunch him up. Yeah, we have speed at least, that's nice. Oof. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, that's. Shouldn't put her in range to heal, thankfully. This bulky asshole is gonna be a real annoying. There we go. One left? I saw that, yeah. And I'm not gonna be here for it. I'm gonna miss September. Rip. 
Rough Blam, I don't think you can really hurt me. I'm just gonna stay in and crunch. Amnesia? Okay, that's fine. You go ahead and amnesia. Oof, that's doing like nothing. Fox Light. Oh, that could be a problem. Hmm. Do we maybe switch in case it decides it wants to get a crap? Nah. I mean, I, I, I don't know why she's not attacked me yet. I'm kind of confused by that. Did she just not? Did she only have a ghost move on this thing to do damage? Or is she just being really dumb? I mean, I'll take it. Oh, okay, that's all the wheel spin done, stuff done. We can now use healing items in battle again. Thank God. Although, I'll be honest, I kind of like the uh, the berries that we've got on. Or the three heals as well. I might actually just keep the berries on, although maybe... Hmm. Maybe keep the berries on everybody else, and I'll start, I think I'll put the Z move on Snorlax. Rocky and Z for this coming up fight. That would actually be yeah, that would actually be really good if you could get your affiliate finally in September. That would be really good timing for you. Alright, next up is Flying Types. And then it's the champion. We've not lost a single Mon yet, so this is going really well. Uh, okay, so what's she going to start with? Obviously a Flying Type, so I think... We'll just start with Magneto. I think. Yeah. Let's just see where we go from there. And now we don't have to worry about not being able to heal, so that's at least a plus. So, and in, in reality, this should be a lot easier than the other ones because I can actually heal. Yeah, you are not going to be able to touch, touch me at all. Yeah, she's a golf. Get it? She's a golfer and she uses birds. Get it? That's all it is. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why? What 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 terms do golf do golf shots use when you get in the hole? Birdie, eagle, albatross. Have you never played golf before? Of course, she's got birds. I thought she was a tennis player. <laughs> She's clearly got a golf club. No flinch. Yeah. Come on! I am tired of this. I'm tired of so many of my moves. Just, just, just. Barely not killing. Uh, maybe I should have put the expert belt back on. That would have fucking killed it in one hit. God damn it. Even if you even if you don't play golf, you'd surely you still know what a birdie is in golf terms. But how would badminton make more sense? Okay, that's fair. Ooh. 
Like, you're only shit you're only shitting in golf because it was invented in my home country, right? <laughs> I know what you are all about. Um Holucha. Holucha Trove is probably gonna go for flying press. Might as well just avoid it completely. Golf is the most Scottish sport ever. Boring. How dare you. It was invented in Scotland. Shut the fuck up, Carly. Mini golf is but I mean, I'm not a big fan of golf or anything, but I like mini golf and I like, I like playing golf games. How deep in the Elite Four are we? We're on the last Elite Four member. After this is going to be the champion. We have not lost a single mon, even though we had to go through the first three fights without being able to use any healing items during battle. And we can use status moves as well, but we still got through the first three fights with no deaths. Alright, let's just go for Shadow Ball. Oh, come on! Why do you have Throat Chop? I did nothing. You know what, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't Throat Chop won't kill me, it'll probably put me in range to heal from the berry, potentially, and then one more Shadow Ball will kill it anyway, so... Yeah. Mmm, delicious. Bye bye. <laughs> Whales, that's an animal, Derek. Don't call the Welsh animals. Amazing. Oh, man, the buzz. That's a thick piece of shit. Talking about turkeys, this thing's basically a flying turkey. Um. You know what, Furnace? Let's toxic this thing, because it's going to be a pain in the arse to kill. And it's probably going to have physical moves, which we can just tank, so... I know it's a Vulture, but it fucking looks like a Turkey. Vultures and Turkeys are quite similar looking, the way their necks and heads are, don't have it, like feathers on them and stuff. Ow. You're toxic! Oh, Jesus Christ. I actually hate you. Please break through and hit him with the toxic. Thank you. Isn't Condor another golf term as well? I think. I don't know. <laughs> the only ones I know is Birdie, Albatross and Eagle. Why toxic? Because this thing's thick defences and it's going to be a pain to kill if I don't toxic it. So, I mean, I'll show you, like, I, I, even in the sun, I guarantee Flamethrower will do, like, maybe half. Maybe. I mean, if it, you know what, if Flamethrower is going to two-shot it, then fair enough, but I, it's probably not going to do a lot. This thing's annoying as hell. It did flatter me, though. Technically, it did actually flatter me, so I am a plus two special attack, actually. And we broke out of confusion. Yeah. Okay, that did like 50-60% and that was worth plus two in the sun. That's why I toxic it. <laughs> uh, she's probably going to be a piece of shit and heal. I should probably toxic it again. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Alright, perfect. I'm just going to stall it out until it gets low enough that Flamethrower will kill it. I do have rock moves, it's just I would rather not take two or three rock moves to kill this thing as it spams Brave Bird on me. Um, you know what? I'm kind of low, and I just I'm a little bit worried about getting a crit possibly. So I'm gonna use a healing item. I'm gonna heal 
And then I'm going to protect again and then flamethrower and that should kill it. Plus one, this isn't going to get much use in this battle anyway. So might as well use it for this and then my other Pokemon can be healthy for the uh, for our, our, our other stuff. Shut up, Derek. Punishment? <gasps> oh, that did nothing. <laughs> I was really worried there because I was at plus four. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Please don't tell me she's going to heal again. I swear to God. Ah, oh, thank God. God, that was so annoying. <laughs> two cannon. I should only have two Pokemon left. Um... Magneto? Yeah. Plyanium Z coming? <laughs> yeah, let's see how much damage it does. Ooh, how much damage is Plyanium Z going to do to something that resists it, <laughs> that four times resists it, and has insane defense? Place your bets. I'm going to say maybe 40 damage. If, well, let's give the benefit of 50 damage. Oh, 20! I really overestimated. <laughs> Holy shit. Oof. That is a big oof. Ah, uh, big blast. Not gonna burn me with that. Not when I use rock slide. I'm so sick of everything loving. Only like one HP. I'm so tired of it. Screech. She did. Alright, we go left. What a choreo! Oh, this thing's revelation dance is gonna hurt. Beefcake, you got this. Oh my god. Why? You know, you wouldn't expect somebody with flying types to have so many goddamn confusion moves, but she somehow managed it. I just want to overkill you now. Four times effective Continental Crush from a Snorlax. Oh, you dead. Oh, you double dead. This poor, poor bird. You didn't get pancake. Ah, I didn't. Uh... Oh, I should have actually. I, didn't th I wasn't even thinking about that. Blech. What is pancake? Is it body? Is it with body slam that you use for it? I forget. Z body slam. We've actually not even used. Um... I don't think we've even used Return a single time anyway. I mean, considering the first... I mean, two, two of the Elite Four members are Rock and Steel and Ghost. Or three of the Elite Four members, you got Rock, Steel and Ghost. Two of them resist normal and one of them's immune to it, so... I feel like it wouldn't have been that useful. And then all of our mons are weak to Rock, so why would I not use the Rock MZ? <laughs> all and Pancake, let's see. 210 damage. Oh, with Giga Impact, it would use. Yeah, let's not have Giga Impact. That moves kind of terrible. And it's only like a slightly more. Power it's only a little bit stronger than what Z Return would do. Z Return would do like 200, and that does 210, so it's not even that like much better. 
All right. Time for the champion. One battle left, and we are finally done with us a four-month marathon. Yeah, same. I think I used it like once in Cinnamon and that was it. And that was only because you get given it that. There was that gift month slacks, wasn't there? That had it. Hmm. Restore my PP. All right. Uh, what do we? What do we need? We're fine. Crunch. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, it looks not likes and needs one. I guess I'll. Yeah, I'll just Alexa Snorlax. We should be fine after that. Outside of that. Alright, now here's the question. What the fuck does he... He starts with a Lolan Raichu, right? Snorlax. Ooh. What if it has Focus Blast? Ah, because it could have Focus Blast. I wouldn't one shot me, would it? I mean, what else do I even have to deal with it? Nobody else on the team can take special attacks that well. I guess I could Whiplash, throw a Whiplash out and just drop a Draco on it. Hope that one shots it. Just to make sure we can kill it first turn. Choice Specs, Draco. On the Raichu. And then we don't have to worry about the Focus Blast. The worst I could do is Psychic, which shouldn't do. I mean, it'll do a decent chunk, but we have high HP, good, decent special defense. Shouldn't do an absolute ton to us. And then we can keep. Because, uh, yeah, if Snow Likes gets out with the Focus Blast, that could either one shot or put me in dangerously low HP. Let's do our last Roto Lottery. Sure, why not? Roto Bargain. Alright, hold on. Before we start, I'm gonna go fill my water bottle up. I'll be back in a second.
I'm back. I'm out of space. Oh, you went for the Eric Bischoff. I went for the other song. I used to know the words to that song forever ago. Where is it? And now you're just back from out of space. Uh, fuck, what is it after that? Something about from outer space. I'll look upon your face. I would have locked that stupid door, thrown away the key. Something like that. It's something like that. I don't remember. I had that song in forever. Let's do this how The final battle of the entire four month long Nuzlocke Marathon. That's the worst paraphrase of that I've heard. Well excuse me. Drop a Draco. My neck. Ah, oh, oh, come on. Straight right off the bat. How? Could you not? Get out. A bomb and a bubble. Ah, uh, ha. Uh. Ooh. Um, everybody in my team is weak to either ice or fighting except for Furnace, so I think we have to go with Furnace <laughs> and burn this thing. Salmon, that shouldn't do too much. Ah, uh, that actually did a pretty good chunk. Holy crap. You know what? He speed fell though. How speed flamethrower? Kill him. Oh, miss. No! The fucking crit! Okay, I don't know if that mattered, but come on! Two crits already! What is this? Oh, this is not good. Okay, we'll go into Magneto. We can survive any hit from it with Sturdy. One Iron Head should take it out, because this thing's frail as hell. Got a high attack, but it's a glass cannon. God damn it. Fuck you and your crits. Furnace. Poor Furnace. Oh, it didn't kill. Oh, the flinch. Also, we have sped that? Really? Oh, did that crap matter? God, I'm so mad at that then. Um, okay, he's gonna heal, so we'll build those. And then one more iron head will kill it. We outspeed it, so that's totally fine. We don't have to worry about this crap anymore. Yeah, I know it isn't fast, but Agron isn't fucking exactly fast either. It's an Agron. I mean, at minus one speed, it's still outsped Torkoal. And Torkoal's not fast either, but it, it was a minus one. Had the big Nano and deaths. Torkoal's base 20, is it actually 20? Jesus. Oh, you're gonna have Earthquake. Uh, Trove. 100% Trove. 100%. He did work. Furnace was a good team member. He did a lot for us.
Um, you know what? I'm going to short up because he's going to outspeed one more earthquake. I'll short up. We'll be at higher HP than what we are right now. And then we'll start damaging him. Ten more deaths and you would have hit 100. I was, I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't get over 100, to be honest. I mean, it's not over yet. We still might lose this. It's not over yet. You know what, that's fine. Earth Power wouldn't have done anything there anyway, so that was a, that was actually a really good move. Going for the heal there. Uh, Noivern. Okay, Noivern, Beefcake, 100%. This thing will have nothing but special attacks, and we can tank them for days. Oh wait, do I still have Continental Crush? Kill it. Just kill it. Just kill this thing, because it's going to be annoying. Super fine! You snake! How could you possibly lose? Ah! Also super fine. Fuck me right off with that bullshit. Are you kidding? Yo! Thank you for the four bets, Derek. How? That didn't kill? Are you fucking kidding me? Um. Well. Can I time him out for the pun? Absolutely not. I cannot believe that thing survived that continental crush, that's crazy. Okay, one more. Hey, we're at... <laughs> we had the 69. <laughs> Amazing. End on 69 bits total. Oof. Lady on. Oh god, clearly on. Um Back the troll, I guess. That's gonna hurt. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's a problem. Shit. We might we might have to sack trove. No, I mean... Shit, dude. Wonder if he has... Wonder how he messed up attacks and... Could actually kill Beefcake with that other move? Then the second move... The, the, yeah, but the, the, the same move he used was Super Fang, which always does half of your health. So... We may have to sack Strofe here because we can't we can't switch on it we can't switch anybody else for a flare bits. Like Magneto could take one, but I don't know how much better if that did, if it did that much to Trove because Tro Magneto's going to take neutral damage from it as well. Shit, dude. Um, yeah, I, I think we have to sack Strofe here. 
I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll take this opportunity to heal up Snorlax. And I think Trove will have to go down violently and battle. Sorry Trove, you, you know what you did really well for us, this whole Pokemon League, but... God damn. Alright, uh, Magneto. Just one rock slide should be enough to kill the Flareon from there, especially after another Flare Blitz. Um, neutral, not neutral damage, but another, another Flare Blitz is uh, recoil damage. Jesus Christ! Okay, we probably could have switched Magneto in on the Flare Blitz and then healed them. But that did nearly half, so I think we probably did the smarter move. Got us back out with Intimidate, he's gonna go for the Earthquake again. Um, Tyler. He's only got two mons left and he's still got Pre-Marina. I think we need to keep Beefcake at 100% health for Pre-Marina. So I think we go to Tyler to take care of the Taurus. Earthquake will miss. I'm going to go for the Beak Blast just in case he somehow... Just in case he one-shots me with something, I can at least burn him and then we don't have to worry about him as much. Oh, fuck, double edge. Tyler! Oh, Tyler, you beast. Oh. Tyler has honestly tanked so many hits that he sh we really should know. Double edge from a Taurus, the plus one Thunder Punch from a Komodo, the Z Continental, the Z uh, Corkscrew Crash from a Alone Duck Trio. Holy shit. Alright. This is it. Premium Marina. Um, how many heal names have I used? Just the one? No, two. Have I used two? No, I've used one, right? I've only used the one because Whiplash. Yeah, I think so. Four. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Calvin. Um, should I keep track? Should I keep track? Um, yeah, Beefcake got healed. I don't think anybody else got healed, did they? Trove, I healed a, a couple of times with Showed Up. Ernest didn't get healed at all. Yeah, I think it is just the one. I just want to make sure that I'm how many I've used. Um, okay, I don't want to switch in to take an attack from this thing, even though Beefcake is a specially defensive beast. Um, you know what? I think we can maybe take a hit from it. Because I don't think how much that double edge did. Um, I'm going to stand and go for the Bullet Seed. And then we can switch and finish it off with Snorlax, I think. Moonblast. Oh, what? Really? I honestly thought we would tank that. Wow. Okay. Um. I mean, the, the, the double edge only took us only about 30 HP, it did like 130 to us, and I figured a double edge from a Taurus would be a lot stronger than a moon blast from a Primarina. 
Double Edge is strong is stronger, and Taurus has got. I mean, maybe it doesn't have as high attack, but I think we have better special defense on Tyler. Yeah, better special defense. Double Edge is stronger by quite a decent amount. I honestly, I, I, I th that could have been a roll, maybe. I think I'm honestly shocked at how much that did. Human is 126 special attack. And what is Taurus? Like 110 physical attack? What's Taurus? Oh, 100. I mean, I still, it still should. I think it still would have been maybe close. Because, like, 100 attack versus 126 special attack. But we have higher special defense. Plus, double edge is like 30 damage stronger. And then even more than that because of the stab. So I feel like it uh, maybe it would have worked out to be about the same damage and we were that lower than 130, so... Fuck. Well, you know what? We do get to come in and we do get to have Beefcake come in fresh now. And I think Snorlax versus Primarina with our special defense size is, I think we got this one. And we still have two healing items we can use. So we'll just spam, just spam return. Hmm. That was a decent chunk. Okay. Uh, I'm going to crunch it because if I return it again, I'll put it in range for me to heal, which I don't want him to do. That's fine. Alright, I'm going to heal. And then one more return. And that is over. Even if he gets two crits, I don't think Moonblast would kill me. I swear to god, if he gets two crits and kills me. I swear to god. Don't you do it. It is over. The marathon is over. We won. We beat the last game finally. After four months. Yeah, we used the Z move on the Noivern. After 92 deaths across 7 games and 4 months, the marathon is over. You know what? It's, this is something I was thinking about. It's actually kind of insane that, to think that we started this 4 months ago and it's taken this long, and we are finishing the final game only a couple of days before I'm going to be moving to somewhere that where I'm not going to be able to stream anymore. We just barely Finished it in time. You need to defend the title. You're right. Ah. Oh. Also, shout out to Beefcake. Coming back from Gen 1. The, the, the Seer Snorlax that we caught in yellow. How many, how many, how many wins has that Beefcake's got now in the Hall of Fame? He's been on the team a few times for the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I've done the, I've done the title defense a bunch in uh, in my own personal game when I first played it. But I'm not gonna. I'm not doing that. We don't do it. We don't do any post game stuff. It is over. Snow should have named it Red Gaming. Shut up. This is the... Unless you... Did you just update? Did you update the, uh... The thing, Derek? 
Because if you if you didn't, that means this was the fourth Hall of Fame that Snorlax has been a part of. <laughs> fourth. If not, if, if you already updated it, then it's the third. Finally then. So what, what? You know what? Let me go over. Let me let me go over the Hall of Fame. Um. Florida had two Hall of Fame victories. Yeah, Snorlax, Snorlax definitely had definitely had the most with three, potentially four. Yeah, Florida completed two. One as Jolteon and one as Vaporeon. In fact, no, no, two is Jolteon, and then we brought it back as a Vaporeon, but it died as Vaporeon before we got to the Elite Four. I think. No, in fact, no, we did get to the Elite Four and Black and White two with Vaporeon as Florida. Or flawed as a Vaporeon. Um, but it died. Because of that stupid chandelier getting a fucking crit energy ball on us. I think, um, I think Florida was, Florida was used in like four or five of the games. Two of them, two of them. It was victorious in two, and then the other ones it died in. Because we used Florida, we used Florida in, in Sun and Moon as well as an Espeon. We used it as a Vaporeon in Black and White, um, and we used it as Jolteon twice uh, in previous gens. God damn. Well, that is the end of it. The end of the Nuzlocke Marathon. I'm glad I finally, I've now I finally got the, got the chance to do this. Idea I had for so long. Finally managed to put it together. And it was a lot of fun. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, this is obviously the end of the marathon. There's not going to be any more of these. Um, Sword and Shield is not going to be included in the marathon. I'm just going to play that out normally and then probably do a separate Nuzlocke of it sometime in the future on its own. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching, and this will be the end of the VOD. If you're watching live, which a lot of you are, then we still have over two hours left of the stream, so stick around and we'll uh, switch over and play something else.